Welcome back, it's Mr. St. Romain. We are picking up our tutorials in, uh, in Illustrator. I'm going to walk you through the Elmo tutorial again and get you on the next activity, which will be very similar, uh, just applying the skills you've already learned. So, you have already done portions of this. We are going to uh, start at the beginning just so you can review some of the skills uh, whenever you need to. So, first, Command N as in new to create a new document. Uh, we're going to go with pixels, so select pixels from here, and we're going to go with 1000 by 800 pixels. Uh, we don't have to worry about anything else, so just hit OK. Once we have our screen open, we are going or our new file open, we're going to um, set some colors. So remember that you can change what your focus is, whether you're talking about the stroke or the fill. We're going to change our fill to a sort of a deep red color, something around around there, um, and we're going to select rounded rectangle from the drop down. I'm going to even turn off this stroke because we don't need a stroke here, and then we're going to draw our rectangle. Now, notice that the rectangle gives me rounded rectangle gives me these rounded corners. I'm going to undo that Command Z. If I click once. It gives me some controls here. I can change how rounded I want that. So if I make it 10, it'll make uh, a slightly less um, rounded corner. I'm going to undo that. If I change that to a higher number, like 40, it's going to make it much more. I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to select my uh, selection tool. I'm going to center that. If I do want to change this color, if I decide it's too dark or too light, I can change it while I've got it selected. Notice I have the blue control handles here. I can, while it's selected, I can double click my color chooser and pick a, another color. There we go. All right, now since we've already done this, I'm going to, I'm going to um, move along hopefully somewhat quickly. Um, you should be able to follow along as you've already done this once. I'm going to go to my ellipse tool. I'm going to make sure nothing is selected. Change my color to um, a red, sort of a bit more primary, maybe around here. And I'm going to make a circle about that big. Using my move tool, either via my keyboard or selecting from the, from the toolbar, I'm going to move this into position. Now we want to get rid of sort of this overhang here that's happening. I want to get rid of that part that's out kind of outlying outside of the box, so I'm going to select both of them. Remember I can click one, hold shift on my keyboard and select the other, or I can just drag over both of them, drag a selection over both of them, and that selects both. Um, I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to use the Pathfinder. If you remember Window Pathfinder, okay, I'm going to click on that guy. we got our Pathfinder here, and you'll recall we used the Divide option which divides these up. Remember they are now, they're linked together because they have been grouped. So we want to right click and ungroup. And then I, when I click away, I can select away these pieces. I'm going to just select that, hit delete on my keyboard and blow that out of there. Next thing I want to do is I want to draw my two white circles that are going to be Elmo's eyes. So I'm making sure nothing is selected. I'm going to change this back to default. Either I can click here or hit D on my keyboard. I also want to get rid of this stroke, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to turn off the stroke, getting rid of that black stroke there. I'm now going to select my ellipse tool. I'm going to make my first eye. Now I want that to be round, so I can I can guesstimate um, or try and get these two numbers, the width and height to match, or I can actually hold shift on my keyboard and shift will constrain it to a perfect circle no matter what I do. By holding that shift, I get a perfect circle every time. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to bring this eye somewhere down here. I'm going to duplicate this. So either I'm going to uh, copy it. Sorry. I'm going to either copy it, Command C, Command V, or if I just hold Option on my keyboard, while I have my selection tool selected, so hit V on your keyboard and then hold Option and drag, it's going to make an extra, extra copy of that eye. I want yet another one, so I'm going to copy. So edit, copy. Edit. Oops. edit, copy, edit, uh, paste, okay, and now I've got an extra one right here. I pasted right in front, but 
Here it is. I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit, and then I'm going to rotate it. Once I'm happy with the rotation, I'm going to move it into position, and I'm going to change it from white to orange. I'm going to click on this fill. I don't care about the stroke. I only want a fill. And I'm going to pick an orange, something like that. All right, so we've got our eyes, we've got our nose. I'm um, going to try and position these right. That looks okay. Um, I'm going to make my next um, graphic the pupil for his, for Elmo's eyes. So click off of everything, make sure everything is nothing is selected. Click away. I'm set these back to default by hitting D on my keyboard. Okay. I'm going to flip them. Notice if I click this, it changes from a white fill and a black stroke to the opposite, a black fill and a white stroke. So I want black. I'm going to get rid of this stroke by clicking here, and turning off that stroke. Now when I draw my circle, again I'm going to hold shift so that it's a perfect circle. And I'm going to make my pupil around that big. I want another one, so I go to my selection tool. I'm going to copy, command C, and command V, and I'm going to put that right here. Now if it were if it happens that as you did things like as you did this, something was out of order, remember you can select anything, right click arrange, and send it backward one step at a time. And you'll see that now it is underneath this. If I do it again, I just have to have it selected. Right click, arrange, send backward. It goes even further back. It goes lower in the stacking order. Now I don't want it back there. I'm just, just reminding you of this. So I'm going to select it, right click, arrange, and I'm going to bring it to the front. Now it's in front of everything. All right, I'm pretty happy with that Elmo. I'm going to add in a little mouth here just to, uh, to kind of complete this guy. Using skills we already know, I'm going to draw a big. Maybe what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to hold the space bar. Gives me the hand tool, and it's going to move this over so that I can work over here, and then I'll hold the space bar and bring this back. So it's kind of working this kind of dead space over here. All right, setting my colors back to black and white. D on my keyboard. I'm going to flip these so that I have a black stroke and no fill. Turn off the stroke. I'm going to make a circle about that big. Now I'm going to use this to make the mouth, but I don't want it to be round, I want it to be straight across. So I'm going to select my rectangle tool, and to make it easy I'm going to pick a different color. So I'm going to click away so this is not selected. Pick a new color, something arbitrary, like this purple. And I'm going to draw a rectangle over top of this guy. Make sure it doesn't interact with anything over here, I want to make sure I have some space between. I don't want to uh, wreck anything from here. Once I've got these both drawn, I'm going to use my rectangle on my selection tool and I'm going to shift click so I have both selected or I'm going to select a, a drag a selection over top of both of them. And then again using my pathfinder, here's my pathfinder. If you've already closed it, remember you can get it by going window, pathfinder. And I want to get rid of the purple. Purple's in front. So I'm going to click here which is minus front and that subtracts the front away, leaving me just this mouth. All right, let's drag this over here. Hold the space bar on your keyboard, and I'm gonna, again, center this. And let's bring this mouth into position. I wanna rotate it, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get close to this edge, not, not the um, resize, but instead slightly further away, and I'm gonna rotate it into position. So that's about right there, give or take. Um, now, notice that it's uh, we're sort of in the wrong uh, stacking order, so I'm going to actually bring this in a little bit. Now, you are obviously going to have to take a look at your own work and decide how to modify this when you're happy with it, but uh, I'm okay with that. I'm going to right-click and I'm going to arrange it and send it backwards so that it goes behind that nose and then click away. Now I've got a little bit of an issue here in that this is sticking out outside of my box. I want this to all be contained within this graphic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to shift, hold shift on my keyboard, and click on that square. And then again, using the pathfinder, I'm going to divide. Now what's going to happen with the divide is going to cut. The, I only selected these two, so it's going to divide those, cut them up. And it actually ends up bringing this whole red section forward. The eyes are still back there. And uh, we'll fix this in a second. But first, I'm going to ungroup all of it, click away, and get rid of this part that's sticking out. And then this, because this has been divided, if I move it, you'll see it's 
it's um, it's sort of that shape has been cut away from everything. I'm going to undo that so you can it goes back to where it was. And I'm going to, while it's selected, right click, arrange, and send to back. And what that's going to do is it's going to put the red behind everything. Now it's actually behind this purple thing, but because we cut it away from that, it doesn't matter. It just looks like it's uh, next to it. All right, there's our Elmo. We're good to go. I'm going to save this. So file, save, or save as. Uh, it doesn't matter at this point. On your desktop, I'm going to call this something that we can use to find it. So Elmo. And you've already done one of these, so you're probably working on your Elmo file already. But I'm going to do that. Go to my temp here and hit save. All right, there we go. I'm going to hit OK here. And there's our Elmo. For today's class, since you've already done most of this, you're going to be taking these skills and applying them to another character. You're going to be doing uh, Cookie Monster. Now, Cookie Monster is very similar to this. Cookie Monster doesn't have a nose, and his eyes are higher on his head. But aside from that, it's pretty similar. So I'm going to run through that one time quickly so you can see it. Close all this. Command W. Command N, a new file. Again, you want pixels from the dropdown. 1,000 pixels by 800 pixels, and OK. Same thing we just did. I'm going to get a rounded rectangle. I'm going to change my background color to blue because that's the color we want Cookie Monster's domain. I'm going to click on this. Um, I'm going to click on this guy here so it's in front, so the focus comes to the front. And I can go to the stroke and turn it off. And then I'm going to draw my rectangle. All right, there's my rectangle for Cookie Monster. I'm going to click away from this and choose a new blue, something a bit more primary. Maybe there. Hit OK. And if I make a circle, that's going to be Cookie Monster's head. I think an exact circle, but roughly. That doesn't look the right blue to me. I'm going to go back and go a little bit more primary. Oops, I have to have it selected. Try that again. That'll do. Okay, and then it's down just a little bit in size. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to select both of them, go to my Pathfinder, and I'm going to divide. Right click and ungroup them so that I can select away this excess bit and delete it with my keyboard. Delete on the keyboard. I'm going to make my, now that I have nothing selected, I'm going to make my colors black and white again. Get rid of the stroke, create a circle. And I'm going to make Cookie Monster's I'm going to hold Shift to make this perfectly round. There's Cookie Monster's first eye. V on your keyboard. I'm going to move it a little higher on his head because Cookie Monster's eyes are a little higher. I'm going to copy that, edit, copy, edit, paste. Bring this guy up here. There's our second eye. That's a little too high. I'm going to overlap him just a little bit. That looks okay right there. Next, I need a black. No stroke, a black fill. So I'm going to create one pupil, holding shift to make it a perfect circle. Using my selection tool, I'm going to offset this kind of down here. And then I'm going to hold option. I'm going to drag a second pupil up there. Now, Cookie's got some wonky eyes, so you're going to see that one eye is sort of going off in one direction and one in the other. You can play with those until you feel like they're right. On there, something like that. All right, and the last thing I need is a mouth for Cookie. I'm going to do the same thing, hold the space bar on my keyboard to make myself some room, and I'm going to work over here. Again, we're going to go with a big black mouth, and then we're going to make a rectangle, which for the purpose of making it easy to see, I'm going to change to an arbitrary color. Once I've got both of those created, I'm going to select over top of both of them, so I have both selected. I'm going to minus front. That leaves me with just a mouth. Now, Cookie's mouth is actually a bit uh, big because they're always eating cookies. Holding the space bar, I'm going to move that over. Get close to one of the corners, any corner, doesn't matter which one. Let's wait for that graphic to turn and set up our mouth. There's Cookie's mouth. Now, again, we have this little bit overhanging, so I'm going to select these two. I'm going to divide. I'm going to right click. And ungroup, click away, and drag that away. Hit delete on your keyboard. 
remember this has been divided away from all these graphics so you'll notice that there's a white space here undo so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and arrange and send that to the back and we're good to go here there's cookie file save as cookie and we're done save that and I'll be taking a look at your work uh, next class.